Welcome to this video, which is the second in a series covering the use of AdWords in a marketing campaign that draws traffic to a landing page. And this is the sample landing page that we created the AdWords uh, advertising campaign for in the last video. But in this video, we're going to use the same AdWords campaign, but now that the campaign has been running for a little while, we're going to look at the, the information that's being accumulated the cost and the effectiveness of the campaign as a whole. So here you can see I've already logged into AdWords and I've opened up the campaign. I'll just open up the particular campaign that we were working with in the last video. In fact, to be to be uh, correct, the campaign is membership Australia New Zealand what we're looking at is a particular segment of that campaign called Cloud Solutions we created in the last video. Now that I've navigated to this particular advertisement, I'll just minimize this left-hand bar, give myself a bit more room. If you've opened up AdWords and you've used it before, you may in fact find, if you do find rather, that there's no information in the graph in the middle of the page, it may be because you're using the wrong date range and I have intentionally changed my date range and set it to a custom date range in this uh, top drop down list here so that I can see the the click throughs coming from this particular advertisement and now that I've changed my date range I can see the click throughs and the impressions shown graphically there in the middle of the screen. Now for those of you who don't know the difference between the two, impression is where the advertisement appears on a page or appears on a Google search page when a user is using Google to, f to find information. The advertisement appears on the right hand side and that's called an impression. Just to show you how that works, I've gone into Google and I've put in one of the keywords that we've got in our advertisement, cloud applications. It's two words, it's a key phrase. And by searching for that, you'll notice that on the right hand side, Google has in phone, in fact, shown our advertisement down there at the bottom of the list. So at this point in time, our advertisement is not at the top of the list. So um, the SaaS business software is one, two, three, four, five, sixth from the top. So this is in position one, the Google Cloud Computing advertisement there. Position six is SaaS right at the bottom there. And our advertisement is at position eight right at the bottom, but it's appeared. So the positioning of the advertisement, as well as when it appears, is important to you for getting the maximum benefit from the advertisement. So the orange bar or the orange part of the graph along the middle there is showing you the number of impressions and the blue is showing you the number of times somebody saw the advertisement and clicked. Obviously if the advertisement is higher up in the list it will it's more likely to get a click through. So in the information within the table below it's telling us the success of this advertisement so far. I'll just take you through the, the labels at the top of this table and point out their significance to you. Firstly, the keyword is the keyword that I chose when I was setting up the advertisement in the first place. And here we can see the keyword cloud applications, which is the one I just used in Google search to, to find them, my advertisement. Um, it's an eligible um, keyword. Um, when you create keywords, some of the keywords may or may not be eligible. Based on Google's um, rules and regulations, you can uh, click on the buttons and the help inside Google AdWords to find out the, the basis on which um, an ad, an, an ad keyword might be eligible or ineligible. Um, the maximum cost per click means that at this point in time, cloud applications costs us $4.50 every time somebody clicks on it. So indeed, with nine clicks, so it's cost us um, nearly $45 for the this particular 
uh, keyword to be to be available and $45 worth of clicks have already come through as people uh, inquiring on upon our product based on the keyword that they've chosen in their search uh, sorry $34 there it is there impressions means the number of times this word has resulted in this advertisement being shown on the right hand side of the page of the search page so 3021 times um, the average position is posi is 4.3 meaning as we just saw a, a minute ago when we did our search just then it's at position 8 which is at the bottom of the list which is good it's better than at least being on the next page if uh, it had dropped any lower it wouldn't have even come up on the first page of this search but position 8 this time with this search at other times of the day it may come up as position 1 or position 2 so what the um, column is showing us back in AdWord is that based on the, it's being shown on a page 3021 times Google has positioned it on average at position 4.3 so it's not position 1 or 2 but at least it's not it's not getting rolled onto the second page of the search which is a problem because in a lot of cases people don't click on the second page they get most of their results from the first page so if I continue to scroll down the page the labels stay at the top there for me and I can see some of the other keywords some of these keywords have been marked by Google since I put the advertisement in uh, a, a good few weeks ago as below the first bid see the orange below first bid mark um, comment there under the status column the third column so that's telling us that in most cases this this um, CRM applications keyword won't get used because others are bidding higher for that keyword during key times of the day um, and my bid at four four dollars means that I've only had 755 impressions and it's probably been at the time of the day that isn't necessarily a time that people would be searching so it's understandable therefore that I've only got one click through from that keyword at four dollars um, other uh, as we scrolling down the page other keywords you can see won't have any clicks at all and for the purpose of examining um, the success of the keywords that I am using what I might do is just go to the top of the page and apply a filter so that I can um, review only the keywords that are actually performing which will be my first exercise so at the top of the page there if I use the filter and I've already got a filter there I can add a new filter by pressing create and I'm going to apply the criteria performance clicks greater than one greater than or equal to one and if I press um, apply then my list below will magically re, uh, re display showing me only the keywords that have had clicks and therefore allowing me to examine those keywords their costs and their success now I use this filter quite a bit so I, off, I would recommend to you that you click on the save the filter and give it a name and then apply so that you can pull it up and use it again and I'll just show you I've already done that so if I go back to my filters there and pick the saved filter called clicks greater than one greater than or equal to one it's there for me to use any time I choose so now that I've got this information and I'm filtering out all the 
at the keywords that have zero click-throughs. This in itself is a useful piece of information for me to print out and discuss with my colleagues back at the office. So the download button there in the middle of the screen allows me to download this particular report as an Excel file and then use that in discussion with the rest of the organization. So it's going to be called, it's already come up and said keyword report. All right, I might say, I might be smarter than that. I might call it to the campaign. So that's the cloud. And I'll say uh, July 2013 and press create which will bring that report in an Excel format down into my machine now I, um, I don't actually have Excel on this machine so I will but I will save it in that format into a, onto a file locally and then I'll upload it into the cloud application as a part of the management reports for my campaign. I can click here in Firefox. And saving that file into my local temporary directory, I'll be using that in a minute when I go back to the cloud application. Next is I want to save this Excel document against the campaign that we're running. And here I've opened up the cloud application and navigated to all the campaign, the AdWords campaign, uh, where I would be not only putting my details about the AdWords campaign and as you can see here on the details tab I'll probably have stored underneath there the link that I put against this ad uh, in the last video including the keywords that I chose I'm just keeping that there for safekeeping or in case I want to reference it later but against this uh, this particular campaign I've got a documents tab which is a convenient place to keep this Excel spreadsheet, the download spreadsheet for this uh, particular advertisement because by keeping the Excel spreadsheet against the advertisement uh, each time I print it I'm effectively creating a, uh, a central place where anybody interested in this campaign and its performance can go and download the reports showing uh, the, the click-throughs and the, uh, the uh, impression activity for this particular advertisement at any time. So I'll just use the upload button and select my category of information. In this case, it's a marketing promotion. Title. I can put some notes in there if I choose to, choose my file, is uploaded and checked so I press save and that report will be recorded against the campaign for me to access in the future or for others in my team to share with just a quick note on this if next month I produce the same report again rather than uploading the document in its entirety again what I would use is the ability to upload another version of the document. There's an advantage in having just one entry for this particular report in the document management system because if I 
by using this mechanism to upload another version, I'm not actually creating a second entry in the document management system. Because if I create a second entry, then um, my, my colleagues and even myself at a future date, when I'm trying to find the document in the document management system, I may accidentally choose an older version of the report or in fact just have to sift through a whole lot of reports to find the one that's the most current. Uh, the document management system has this capacity to store multiple versions. So in the case of the second report that I may print in a week, a month or sometime in the future, rather than creating a new, new file, I just create a new version of the same file, upload that new version and then press save. Now the second version of the document is stored against this particular entry here, against my campaign. If I was to press download, I would be given the latest version of the document automatically, the last one to be uploaded. But just to take you across to the document management system to let you know what's happening, in the document management system, you can see we only have one entry for this particular report from the campaign. And if I whip across the version control, I can see that at various points in time, uh, this person has uploaded two different versions of the same document. And the default one, the last one, is the one that will be given to any user that's using the download button. The advantage of this is that I can actually click on a particular version and then download that version, allowing me to see old versions or older reports. But if anybody is running the report, or sorry, downloading the report from the campaign, or wherever it's situated in the system, they get the latest version of that report. So just to show you this happening, I've used terminal services to log into another computer and started up a, um, a web browser session, navigated myself to the same position. And if I click on download, I'll be given the latest version of the document, which I can then open up in Excel. There's my report from Google that I can clean up a bit, make look nice, save again if I choose and re-upload again if I choose. <laughs> 